Cause he gets up in the morning And he goes to work at nine And he comes back home at 5.30 Gets the same train every time Cause his world is built on punctuality It never fails And he's all so good And he's all so fine And he's all so healthy In his body and his mind Shit, I'm, I'm sorry. No worries. Looks like you need the caffeine. Hey, I hope I'm not bugging you, but I'm curious. What's with this huge book? I admire curiosity past the books of this beast. I'm a writer. And while it may seem kind of cliche, cafes are the best places to think. It's not cliche at all. It's a very nice place to write. So what's your novel about? <laughs> Sexy Amazons from deep space. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm somewhat of a freelance writer, and it's my work that sells. It's kind of a niche subject, like werewolves or vampires, except badass. Yeah, way more badass. <laughs> hey. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to your work. It was nice to meet you, and good luck with the book. Thanks. Hey, how's it going today? Good. Just writing a new chapter. Oh? What are you planning on happening? Well, I'm not completely sure yet, but I was thinking of sending my main character to this uncharted planet with a new love interest, only to find out that it's inhabited by a space demon who can take on any shape of any of her past lovers. Wow. Sounds like things are about to get complicated. <laughs> Life's always complicated, especially for a space Amazon. Remember that girl that used to write here? I haven't seen her in a while. I wonder what's happened to her. Do you remember what she was writing? Yeah, I can hardly forget. It was about sexy Amazons and deep space. Crap. Patrick, I I'm sorry, I think she passed away. What? Yeah, I, I read it in the local paper like a few days ago. Not exactly. All I remember was the title of the book and how they were expecting it to be like her breakthrough book. It's so bigger than Twilight. She walks along the street on her way to her favorite writing place. The sun is nowhere to be found. She rounds the corner and comes face to face with the robber as he leaves a jewelry heist. When she turns and runs, he immediately panics and runs after her. He tries to take her hostage, but he's far too flustered to come up with a proper plan. Luckily for him, she trips in. Shit. Yeah. Hey dude, how's it going? Alright man, how are you? <sighs> Pretty good, but you'll never guess what happened at work. I know I sort of texted you about it, but- She's just written a chapter where the sexy Amazon's lover has been killed by a band of space punks. It's late, and she's packing up for the day. Suddenly, the space demon from the uncharted planet catches sight of her and takes the form of her last ex-boyfriend. She reaches behind her and whips her cup of coffee at him. She doesn't notice the second demon with the baseball bat. Patrick! Huh? You spaced out on me, man. Are you still thinking about the writer's room? Yeah. Dude, you're such a romantic. You didn't even know her that well. Hey, you know? it's not like that. I mean, sure, I didn't know her, but... I guess just seeing her here every day, it sort of became part of the routine, you know? It's just hard to think that she's not here. Like, she just was here, but now she's not. And she's not anywhere. It's not like she moved away or anything. She's just gone. Yeah. I kinda get that. Sorry. I guess that's why people believe in heaven. So we can think that our past ones are still somewhere. In a better place and stuff. Who 
Police Department Corporal Hextries has confirmed that local author Riley Raven has died after succumbing to her injuries. Hey, you know what they say, better place and stuff. Maybe someone up there will hire me and let me write the good stuff. I can make someone's life a real adventure. Yeah, something really badass. <laughs>